Greetings! Hello guys! In this video I'll be share with you how to power level in Conan Exiles currently. But first and foremost, before I get into the video, I'd like to say and explain what power leveling means in Conan Exiles. Well, for me it means that it is one of the fastest ways to get to maximum level, to level up basically. So let's just get right into it. So, fish trophies, but why are they so good? Why are they one of the best methods to level up currently? Well, let's see what we need for making fish trophies. So, we need to go to feats, survival, scroll down, go to primitive cook, learn it, go to the fisher. The fisher can be unlocked at level 17, currently I'm level 17, I unlock it. And what do we need to make these fish trophies? It says that it can be crafted in the artisan's work table. So let's see. Go to the artisan work table and I have it unlocked over here. You can see that there's like three type of fishes, which is the unappetizing, the savory and the exotic fish. For each fish trophy, we will need a shift food and the type of fish we want to craft. So how to catch actually fish? Well, I'm not really a big Fisherman. However, I know the basics of it. So basically, if we open the fish trap, which actually for us costs each fish trap 10 shea food and 10 twine, it will cost us some sort of food, time, and it will equal with a fish. A random fish, most likely, or there's like probably a like higher chance what you get for the food. So what I'm usually using is four type of food, which is the handful of insects, the fed grub, the worker bee, and the queen bee. So since I mentioned I'm not a really big fisherman, there's probably better food or there's like better ways to get it, but let me just explain. So fed grub you can basically get also in the Noob River area or you can craft it. I'm not gonna get into that how to make it because my favorite food for it is the handful of insects. So how am I getting this handful of insects? Well basically when I'm a low level or a higher level what I need is I just have to go to an area where there's bushes. When I'm there, I need a pick or a sickle. It can be any type of pick or sickle, it doesn't really matter. I'm using this sickle if I need plant fiber and seeds as well. Seeds as well. And basically by just uh, cutting the grass out here, um, or the bushes, whatever you call them, uh, you will. there's a chance that you will get a handful of insects. And basically it's the same for the pick. The only difference is that when you're using the pick, you won't get any seeds or plant fiber. So basically, this is better if you don't want to burden yourself with the weight the plant fiber and the seeds give you. So when I farmed up a good amount, what I do is I just paste over here some handful of insects and it will just make it. Well, I, I'm usually putting maximum 50, but other times when I don't have much of it, I'm just 25 and I'm just splitting it uh, between my fish traps and that's how I'm making these type of fishes. So I just got 150 of each of the fish. I'm gonna just put them in with the shape food. I'm gonna just start it and let's see why is it so good. So I'm gonna right now just use these three benches and look at my experience. I wanted it to be a little bit slower uh, experience wise so you can see how much it gives you approximately. Like um, one fish trophy and I'm gonna just wait till I get to like level 90 and then I'm gonna get more into it. So it's not really an expensive exchange to level up yourself. Basically, you need to have a sickle or pick, you need to have some shea food, you need to make artisan benches, and then you're good to go. Because then you can go around farm the food for the fishes, and then you can just craft it in the fish trap, then you can come with some shea food to the artisan table. And of course you need a little bit more time to make the fish traps. So, you might ask, okay, so I got all these Akko, what am I gonna do with the fish trophies? Well, basically, you have two ways to deal with it. You can either place them on the wall like this, 
and then what you can do is I'm gonna just place place it them here and you can just uh, dismantle them by hand I'm gonna just show it or what you can do is you can just come into the dismantling bench place them in and it will do it automatically for you. So you don't have to go and place them manually on the wall. You can just put them in here and you will get the exact materials back what you got from making them. So this is good because if you just put them up on the wall, you will get the exact amount of materials back. You will get one appetizing fish and one shape food back. So that's the exact amount of material which you need to craft actually one. However, it has a little bit of faulty because when you're placing this uh, exotic fish uh, trophy, then what happens is that it only gives you back the shape food, so it doesn't give you back the fish itself. Doing it manually is okay-ish, but a little bit more advanced method is if you craft dismantling benches later on and you start dismantling them over here. It's way way faster and guys, you will need a ton of fish so placing them on the wall and just dismantling it manually will take you forever to do it so let's see I've already got level 27 during this time I've been talking to you guys so as you can see I've been only running like uh, three benches and I just pasted a little bit over here these uh, seven fish so it's it's doing really good so in conclusion, the fish trophy method is one of the best ways to level up to level 60. And who do I advise this technique? Well, I advise this to anyone who has more characters, or for those who are participating in a bigger clan. This is one of the best ways to level up, thus this will increase you on any server the, the advantage you could get. Basically with this method you can level up to level 60 within an hour. I usually do it in like 40 minutes, but the reason why I'm so slow with it is that I'm storing the fish trophies itself in my inventory or in boxes, not the fish and the shape of itself. As for farming up everything to do this method, I would say that it takes approximately 3 hours to do it and to level up a a little maybe you can if you're really fast enough uh, then you can get this within three hours if you're a little bit slower and you're taking breaks or you're just not getting the materials or you don't know how to warm it up efficiently and to level up it will take for you I think like four hours maximum to level up so the fish trophy won't make the fish decay so what you can do is that if you don't have fridges, you don't have ice to, to store the fish itself, then you can just store the fish trophy, thus you don't have to deal with the, the fridge ring. This is another way to store and use the fish trophies itself for the power level. Anyways, I hope I was some help for you guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. Up until then, bye!